Mm, I love my coffee. It's so good. And it makes me feel very good inside too. Hello guys and welcome back to my channel. If it is your first time here, hello, bienvenidos. Welcome, my name is Karen Sarai. And in today's video, I'm gonna be sharing with you guys my current morning face routine. This is kind of what I've been doing every single day from skincare to makeup. As you guys know, we've all been on quarantine. We've all been at home, haven't been going out. So I actually haven't been wearing as much makeup anymore unless I'm filming a video. But other than that, I'm not wearing too much. And when I do, I have like a certain little pile that I use all the time. So I'm gonna share with you guys what those products are and what's working for me, as well as my skincare. I've been doing a lot of my skincare on stories lately. So if you guys follow me on there, you guys are probably gonna be familiar with most of these products. But uh, these are products that I've been using every single day. They work so great for me and I'm just such a fan of them. So I decided today I wanted to sit down and film this for you guys. I also decided to film in a different room with a different camera and different lighting. I want this to be like a whole different vibe in here. I want it to be super kicked back and chill. Kind of old school YouTube, you know? So that's kind of like the vibe for today. So if you guys are feeling it, let me know. I'm really into it because I literally got in the shower and I was like, well, let's do this. It's actually kind of fun and different. So I hope you guys are thrilled about today's video. So before we get started, I want to give a thank you to Mirad for working with me in today's video so I can talk to you guys all about their new Vita C Duo Complex. It is a new serum and eye cream that they launched that has been working wonders for my skin. I'm somebody who deals with texture and also unevenness in my skin, especially because I have freckles. So I do want my skin to look brighter. And this right here has been the best thing I put on my skin in a very long time as far as serums go, as well as the eye cream. It has been working wonders for my under eyes. So I'm super excited to talk to you guys all about it and tell you how it works. If you guys follow me on stories, you have seen me talk about this already. You guys probably already know all the details behind it. But for anybody who hasn't, I'm here to let you guys know all about it. So if you guys are into it, go ahead and give the video a thumbs up. And without further ado, let's get into the video. So as you guys can see, I am fresh out of the shower. I have absolutely no product, no makeup, nothing on my face. I already cleansed and did all my business in the shower. Um, so now I'm gonna go ahead and get started on my skincare. And the first product I'm gonna go in with is the Biosans Wallane Hyaluronic Toning Mist. This is a super light mist that helps to tone and balance out the skin. I just love this as a prep before I get into my actual skincare. And this goes on super, super fine because it is a mist. So I kind of like drench my face in it. And you can spray it on directly or you can actually add it onto a cotton pad if you want to use it kind of as a toner. Something I really love about this too is that it smells like a spa, like super, super clean. You know that spa smell, that aromatherapy-ish kind of smell? It gives you that vibe here, so I love this. So I do that first, and after that, like I said, I already did my peel off camera, I do the spray. I'm now gonna go in with my serum. So let me tell you guys right now, I am about to finish this, already like on the very, very uh, last few drops in here. So I'm gonna go in now with the Mirad Vita C Glycolic Brightening Serum. This right here has been working so good for my skin, because as you guys know, I deal with a lot of texture and I also have unevenness. You guys may not see it, but with all the piquitas, like the little freckles I have, Sometimes my skin can look a little bit uneven. So it has two of my favorite ingredients in one product, which is amazing. So vitamin C is just gonna help to brighten up the skin, make it look a lot more healthier, vibrant. It's gonna help out with unevenness. And then you have the glycolic. Glycolic acid, guys, is my favorite. So this is going to essentially exfoliate any of those dead skin cells that are on your skin to really enhance the vitamin C delivery, but also make your skin just feel so much better, especially the texture. And it's also going to enhance the vitamin C delivery. In addition to that, vitamin C is also such an essential antioxidant for your skin. So essentially it's gonna look so much brighter and healthier as well. Guys, do try this out. Do not be alarmed if it does tingle the first few times of using it. For me, it's just that glycolic kick. It's working, it's eating away all that dead skin, you know? So for me, tingle, it's working. So next I'm taking in the Vita C Eyes Dark Circle Corrector. This also does have that gold stabilized vitamin C in there. So for one, it's gonna help to brighten up those under eyes because it does have the light reflecting the micro minerals in there. It's also going to hydrate and visibly smooth the area because it's infused with cucumbers. And then it also does have red and brown algae extract, which is amazing because that's what's going to visibly depuff and soothe your under eye. So in case you guys are wondering, what is a stabilized vitamin C? because I'm sure that sounds very different than just saying regular vitamin C. So pretty much it is a higher antioxidant defense and that's what's going to ensure the stability and potency of the vitamin C in skin. So every time you guys use this, you're gonna see a difference in the skin, how brighter it looks, how much more even it looks, not only immediately, but in the long run as well. So there we have it for the serum and eye cream. I did add a link down below in case you guys wanna shop the product or learn a little bit more about it. I'm gonna move into my moisturizer. So I'm gonna be using a super lightweight cream and this one is the Perfect Cream Multitasking Moisturizer 
moisturizer from Laura Mercier. As I mentioned, this is a super lightweight moisturizer, so it's really nice for daytime. It makes my skin just look super smooth and radiant. I love it because it feels very refreshing, has a cool sensation to it as well. Doesn't feel heavy at all and is infused with antioxidants and vitamins, so really nice for the skin and perfect for makeup application. And lastly, I'm gonna be going in with the Elta MD Tinted SPF 46, one of my favorite sunscreens to wear. Really nice for UVA, UV protection, it calms my skin, doesn't break me out. A lot of good things in here, but this is one that I've been using for a while. And I actually use sunscreen every single day, and especially with the serum because it does have glycolic, I wanna make sure that I protect my skin. I do not play when it comes to skincare. I actually spend more time prepping and taking care of my skin than I do on my actual makeup. It's so important to prep and treat the skin and give it all the right stuff that it needs. This little combo right here has been working wonders for my skin, and it's actually crazy since I've been on quarantine, I've been getting an increase of messages asking what I'm using, what are them different. You guys have noticed a difference in my texture as well. I have felt more confident now to post photos without really any filters. I actually just use filters because it actually snatches like my nose and my chin and I actually like the look of it. I don't really use filters for like the smoothing effect, but I actually feel comfortable not even using them anymore because I'm like, God, my skin looks so good that sometimes like I spend all this time on my skincare, my makeup, that the filter just like, you know, it takes the credit for it and that's, it shouldn't be that way. So I've been more comfortable with no filters and I'm telling you, the increase the messages that are like, what are you using differently? What are you doing? I swear guys, it is this little combo right here. Your skin will feel like baby. So like I said, today's uh, makeup routine is pretty easy. I'm gonna start off with doing a little bit of brow product. This is from Benefit. It is the Pro Palette and this is in light medium. So I actually just use like a very little bit of this because I don't like my brow sweet to fill in if I'm not really going out. I took a little bit of product in there just to kind of fill in all the little gaps. And to me, this actually makes a pretty big difference. So um, I'm focusing most of the product towards the outer corner of my brow. And then I'm gonna use the spoolie and I'm gonna brush it, to just kind of spread it around. And then whatever I left on the brush, I'm just gonna work it towards the front. I actually try not to sculpt it out too much at the very front because if I do too perfectly lined, it starts to look a little bit too done up. Something about like an everyday makeup look with it not being so perfect makes it perfect, you know? I love just like kind of an undone kind of look. To be honest, I've grown to love for these kind of looks not even cleaning up underneath my brows. Like if you know me, I love a pretty cleaned up underbrow um, for like the full glam kind of looks, but I don't know, something about the everyday look, I love it to be a little bit more natural. So I'm not gonna be doing a brow cleanup. Like I said, just a little bit of product. I'm gonna move now with the Maybelline Fast Sculpt Mascara Gel for your eyebrows. I'm doing this to brush up those brows, make them look a little fuller towards the front. So next I'm gonna be going in with my concealer to correct any areas. I do very, very minimal concealer, just kind of on the areas where I wanna brighten up or clear any kind of blemishes. I mentioned the other day that I use a BB cream, but I actually realized that it's not a BB cream. It's just like the combination of the sunscreen with the concealer mixed together. So next I take in the Laura Mercier. This is their Flawless Fusion Ultra Longwear Concealer in the shade 2W. And for this, I just do a very, very small amount. Like as I mentioned to you guys, the texture on my skin feels and looks so good that I I don't want to overdo it. Um, I think also part of like a no makeup makeup look is having like that undone skin where the makeup is undetectable. It doesn't look like you really have it and it should look very fresh with slight flaw showing. I think that looks just really pretty. Complete opposite of what I normally do guys. Like if you follow my videos all the time, you know that I love a full, full, full glam. Um, nothing wrong with that because I will always be a full glam girl, if you know what I mean. For this kind of look, I just like to do less. I'm gonna go in with this Fenty brush and just kind of lightly tap over where I blended the concealer and blend it out. It lightly blends it out, but also kind of keeps it in place. And then for my under eye, I actually like to go in with my ring finger and blend it out. I think it just has a really nice finish to it. This look is my favorite, especially if you're like a little bit wanted to get ready sometimes and you kind of don't want to like do too much, but you need to be a little bit put together. I'm gonna take in the brush for the bigger parts of my face. And then whatever's left, I just kind of like to dust it on the eyelid to even it out. So if you're somebody who wants a little bit more coverage, you can definitely do that and still achieve this kind of look. I recommend just applying your foundation a little differently. So let's say you have, I don't know, more redness like in certain areas and you need more coverage, add the coverage where you need it, but just be mindful of how you blend it out. Maybe try not to use a beauty blender or a kabuki brush that will give you more of a full coverage. Try to use something more like this or 
uh, something that's gonna make it a little bit more softer. So next I'm gonna be going in with cream products. This is kind of like the key for this look. It's gonna make the skin look super radiant, very glowy, and overall just give such a beautiful finish on the skin. So the first one is going to be the Guerlain Terracotta Highlighting Stick in the shade Gold. So you can apply it directly on the skin with the brush or with your fingers, but I'm gonna do it with my fingers. I love just like having control of how much I'm applying on, so I work it into my finger, back of my palm, and then from there, I'm just gonna go ahead and tap it on the skin. It just gives like a true natural glow. And it smells like a rich, rich viejita. I also think it looks really nice like on the apples, with the cheeks. And then next, like I said, we're gonna go in with a cream blush. This is a Fenty Cream Blush and Petal Poppin'. Smile and work it onto the cheekbones and then kind of going back. So to me, for these kind of looks, I think truly blush brightens you up. It makes it look so much more youthful and healthy and gives it a really nice glow. And I kind of go in on the blush. Like I have no shame in how much I apply. I'm also going to add some MAC Give Me Sun Bronzer. Whatever's left, I just kind of add it to the tip of my nose. I think bronzer and blush actually look kind of cute on there. It warms up the look. Down to the last final products. I'm telling you guys, it is so, so easy to do. So the two last products I'm gonna be applying on for this look is going to be a lip color and then what I'm gonna be doing on my eyes. So for the lip color, sometimes I do lip balms, but for the most part, I add a lip pencil and a light lip color. I keep it natural so it looks natural, but I think to me, one of the statements in my looks on top of having like glowy skin is always my lips, I like my lips to look popping. So I'm gonna go in with the LMR Cosmetics Dulce Lip Liner. The color is pretty natural as well. It's kind of like a, like a Chi Chi color, you know? After that, I just take in the lip pencil and fill in my lip with it. So after I fill in my lip, I top it off with the ColourPop Just a Tint Lip Color in the shade Coconuts About You. This is so, so natural. You can actually wear this on bare lips and it looks beautiful, but I think like with the lip pencil, it just kind of completes it. And I'm now gonna go in with my lash curler. This is like an absolute must whenever I do these kind of looks. I don't always want uh, mascara because sometimes a mascara can actually run and get onto concealer that's not really set and start to get everywhere. So I like just like a little bit of a lash curl, but I think a lash curl does a pretty big difference. I was gonna actually put on a fake lash. I don't know, I might, cause I'm being a little extra right now. I actually might do it guys. I think I'm gonna do it just for fun. Word of the day, pestañas, which is lashes, are from Beauty Creations. I have actually been obsessed with these faux mink lashes. Um, and these are in the Style Expensive. So I love these because they are super wispy, very natural. I just came across them recently and I'm obsessed with all of the lashes. Like I might have to stop talking about them or they're gonna sell out. These lashes look like I actually have extensions on. Um, but that is it for this makeup look. I don't finish it off with any mascara. Again, because I'm not setting my face, I just feel like it'll end up burning by the end of the day. So to avoid that, I just avoid any mascara. If you do decide to do some though, I don't think I brought it, but you can wear waterproof. So I'm gonna go ahead and oh yeah. <sighs> take off the, the towel. Oh my God. You know when a towel's been sitting on your head for so long, it starts to hurt. I'm gonna do like a pretty quick hairstyle just to kind of get me done up for the day. This is like my go-to hair. It's usually just like a low bun. It just is easy to do. It doesn't require much product other than like a little bit of gel and hairspray. And it helps me not get any heat on my hair either. I'm gonna add some of this Paul Mitchell Sculpting Gel just to kind of tame this hair. Actually back here. I actually have this comb that I just like to use to get through all those little hairs. Gotta protect the face from the hairspray. There you go. <laughs> I picked up a little bit more of the gel. I'm gonna add it to the ends, twist it, and give myself a little bun. Just to me, it kind of just secures it. And there we have it for this super, super easy hairstyle. So that is it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I'm actually gonna take you guys outside so we can go check it out because I love seeing this look in real lighting, like outside, outside lighting. Oops.